Welcome to a special presentation of Fighting for Our Homes. Today I'm joined by Congressman John Conyers, the chairman of the House Committee on the Judiciary, and blogger David Dayen, who blogs at D-Day Blog, which you can see at d-day.blogspot.com. Uh, chairman Conyers, uh, thanks first of all for joining us today. As I'm sure you know, President Barack Obama said in, uh, in his speech on the foreclosure crisis on Wednesday that his administration would continue support continue to support efforts to change bankruptcy law uh, that would quote allow judges to reduce home mortgages on primary residences to their fair market value end quote that sounds an awful lot like a bill that you have in Congress sir are, are they the same thing yes it's the same thing and as a matter of fact he adds more since as the president uh, he can bring in even additional uh, means to urge everybody uh, to do the right thing about the very issue that caused this global financial crisis in the first place, which was the meltdown of subprime mortgages, which has now affected the financial systems all over the world. Congressman, if, if you could talk about uh, the need for this legislation, just sort of the, the big overview, why do we uh, need to empower bankruptcy judges to be able to, to work out the terms of mortgages in this way. Uh, why, why is this necessary right now? The reason that this is important is because millions of people have already lost their homes. Eight to ten million more are in danger of, of uh, going into foreclosure, which can lead to losing your home and to bankruptcy. And so the reason this is important is that this is where the trouble really started. Congressman, if I can ask you, um, uh, in the Obama plan, he's talking about, uh, uh, you know, kind of encouraging banks to do these loan modifications through a variety of ways, both carrots and sticks. How would empowering bankruptcy judges uh, really encourage the banks to work out these mortgage terms with the individual homeowner? Because it would put everybody on an equal playing field. It would, it would give a person who's come into trouble through no fault of his own the opportunity to have the bankruptcy judge uh, examine the circumstances of the mortgage and if he thought it was equitable, equitable to both the mortgagor and the mortgagee, uh, he would be able to do it. If he didn't, he wouldn't. Could, could you uh, talk about, because the argument I hear is that uh, such a provision like this, this is the argument that you know, the Chamber of Commerce and, and, and lenders and, and, and banking interests make, is that this would encourage too much bankruptcy. Uh, and, and this would encourage people to sort of default and, and go into bankruptcy because they can get a better deal. Could you explain why uh, that's, that's really not the case with this bill? I'm, I'm glad you raised that because uh, the very people that prevented the, the bankruptcy judge from having this power in the first place are the ones now that are most fiercely resisting us giving it to them even while we're in a national crisis. It, it's, it, you know, it's amazing how greed and self-interest uh, makes people forget about the fact that we're in a recession that could get much worse. It could be a depression. And by the way, this helps not just uh, the poor borrower who uh, may be uh, 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 locked out or laid off or his, the job has moved away or anything may have happened, what, what we're doing now is that we're saying that uh, the, the judge has the authority to help everybody. You know, the more houses that are put into foreclosure, the more run down the neighborhoods become and also uh, the lower property of everybody is involved. This provision 
is to keep you from going into bankruptcy. Great. Congressman, I just wanted to ask you one last question. We're, we're running out of time. For, for the people who are seeing this who are, are really angry with this situation and they want to see your bill passed, what is it that they can do to, to help this effort? I'm glad you asked that because uh, now that the president has spoken, uh, now that the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, has joined me, now that unions by the hundreds and working people and community groups are, are all trying to stop and stem the foreclosure that's, foreclosures that are already going on. Contact your member of Congress and urge that they support our provision uh, that will be coming up shortly. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Congressman. We are out of time, and I want to definitely extend a, a, a warm thank you to Congressman John Conyers. Thanks for your time, sir. And to David Dayen, thanks very much for joining us in studio today. Thanks for having me. For those of you that want to learn more about the foreclosure crisis and the Fighting for Our Homes campaign, you can see all that you like at fightingforourhomes.com. Thank you very much.